Join us today for Fashion Tips Over 50. How do we make our arms not look flabby? And we're back for another segment with Scarlett B. Scarlett, thanks for staying over. We are right at the cusp of, um, you know, starting to change our wardrobe for summer. And it gets a little, it gets a little scary this time of year. <laughs> do we wear that sleeveless look or not? What advice do you have for us in that regard? Okay, so this is a biggie. <laughs> Because I would say nine out of ten women that I work with do not like their arms. They don't want to show their arms. They don't want to wave hello or goodbye to anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, as I made a joke with you at one point, I said someone would rather go topless than show their arms. <laughs> so, they really hate their arms. <laughs> yeah, because your breasts they they stay they keep better than your arms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the arms the arms go pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> So unless we're like really, really into the gym stuff, you know, mm-hmm. and, and have Michelle Obama's arms, um, mm-hmm. we're not, you know, it's it's a tough call. And I have to say, this time of year is rough, but even in the winter now, they are, they sell a lot of sleeveless shirts yeah. in the winter. Uh, there's no longer this time period where, okay, once it gets warm, you got to go sleeveless. It's hard to find sleeves any time of year. It's terrible. It's yeah. really bad. Yeah. So the thing is that you want to... Find sheer things that you can wear for one thing. So if you're going to wear like a tank, like you have on a, like a tank kind of style. Top, yeah, I was hesitant and, to wear it or not, especially when your you're arms, there. <laughs> your arms are good, but but you might not like showing your arms because I mean there are women who have great arms, but they still don't want to show mm-hmm. them because they they think that they look bad and they they really don't. But it's if it's if you think it, it, it's, it's about it. perception, yeah, and how right. it makes you feel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, because that's that's all that really matters is how you feel. So, like I threw this on this little sheer, you can see the it, kind of um, top. That's very I pretty. This, but it's just enough to you know cover my upper arms so that I feel better about my arms. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing is that I want to say avoid t-shirt type of sleeves. Oh, really? A lot of times they stop at the widest part and they yeah. end up making arms look wider okay so you may be happy that something is contained you're actually going to look bigger you know interesting okay that's you know a big thing also be careful that you're not wearing bras that are too tight because then things are going to start billowing over and that's going to make your upper part look a little yeah needy i don't know Mm -hmm. (laughs) um and uh also think about uh the cold, the uh, what's it called? The cold shoulder now is a really, really big style. Is that the one that's where they have the peekaboo shoulder? Yes. So when you have the cold shoulder, you're covered up here, and then you're covered right on that fleshy part, and then this meaty part up here, which is more muscular, is looks great. Okay. So can be good. You okay. have to try it, and any age can wear this now. And then you can also do like scarves, you know, sheer, sheer scarves for the warmer weather. And you can drape that over your shoulders too. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. We were at a, a black tie wedding in Florida uh, last year. And my husband leaned over to me and he said, oh, look at all the ladies. They're all wearing shawls. I said, is their shoulders? Like he had, he was clueless. But I never saw so many women have like these pretty shawls. <laughs> and the other thing is that you want to, uh, again, I, um, as I said earlier about, you know, taking the eyes away from the butt, if you want to take your eyes away from the shoulders, then do something around your face, whether it's great earrings or a necklace, you know, bring, bring the attention up here and then you won't be worried about this. And then I, I also want to say that women have to like make a movement. And I, and I really urge this. When you go into a store and you're shopping and you're struggling to find tops that, you know, cover up the arms, talk to the store manager. Mm. Talk to the buyer, whoever you can get a hold of, and say, Would you, I need more of that covers on my arms. Because it's really, if we don't speak up, we're yeah. not going to get it. So, I mean, I really want women to speak up. Mm-hmm. you know, about this. It's it's a really, it's a big problem. And who they gets, need to who ask- gets a thumbs up from you for, in terms of a manufacturer about, you know, more catering to more of, of, of maybe our vintage, but in a very, you know, in a, in a good way? Well, I'm a big fan of a line called Nick and Zoe. Nick and, and, Nick and Zoe. Okay. So Nick and I see and, and then Zoe, Z-O-E. It's, okay. She's named after her children. 
And she's from Boston, actually. And she created a line of clothes that I, I have to say almost every one of my clients I pick for her. Because what her designs do is they actually are, the patterns are done in such a way that it kind of creates a waistline. I love her stuff. She mm-hmm. should only know how much I love her stuff. And so it's a, I mean, actually the top I have on now is, a, is, a, is not that you mentioned, is a Nick and Zoe top. And I'm not going to stand up because I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> but the patterns are all very, very, very okay. specially Perfect. So this, I think it's really important. Go when you're in the store, say, "Hey, come on! What the heck is going on here? Yeah. You know, I, I need something for my arms." They're going to listen to you yeah. because they want you to buy. They don't want you to walk out. You know, Tell them Scarlett sent me to talk to you. I have Scar- her her styling system here. <laughs> yeah, I'll change my number. <laughs> and of course, you have more about arms and uh, you know on your online system. So tell us about that again. So I created a, a course of 12 videos that you can watch on demand on your own. Pick what you want. It could be about um, colors, how to make your, your how to get rid of the muffin top, your waistline, what underwear to wear, what shoes to wear, how to make your body, um, how to dress the body that you have now after you had a baby, even though the baby might already be in college. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I was going to say that's more to our audience. <laughs> Many people who just had a baby. It's, really, <laughs> it's actually titled, and what if your baby is driving? Um, and uh, and what to do about accessories? I mean, accessories are an incredible way mm-hmm. to bring life and personality and creativity to your wardrobe. But it doesn't cost a fortune to get something at Target, for instance, and just add a little color. And what to do to make your own. Um, eyes be able to see what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Well, in our next segment, we are going to, uh, you know, come back and talk about color, which you just brought up. And I'm sure you do check out uh, Scarlet's system because it's, she is just as funny there as she is here. You're a pleasure to watch. She had me cracking up. So (laughs) check it out. And my video is a little, little quirky. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Scarlet, thank you about the tips about our arms. And we'll see you on the next segment talking about color. See you in a sec. Hope you enjoyed our segments with Scarla today. If you missed any of our previous episodes, they're posted right over here. And please don't forget to subscribe to our program. Just click the button.